Welcome, fellow trackers. I'm Nick Metzger, and my partner, my co-host in crime, is none other than Mr. Sean Abbott. We're recording today, August 22nd. It's a Thursday. We are going to be breaking down Gamescom, what we thought of it, what's going on. Uh, we also got some top stories. We're excited. we got five of them, so you got that to look forward to. Some new accessibility items. Talking a little bit more about new consoles. Masters of Albion's got me a bit excited. Bring it to Xbox console, please. But anyways, before we get to all the fun stuff, uh, Sean, how you doing, sir? Uh, I'm doing well. We're on the eve of me going away on holiday, so I'm super excited. I've just done two horrific weeks at work, um, so I, I am ready for a break. Mm -hmm. Well and truly ready for a break. When you so, walked out, did yeah. you just like give two birds? Just like you just walk out there, um, like... Sealed. I think I walked out with my eyes closed, got into my car, and drove home with my eyes closed. I was that tired. So. That's safe, kids. That's how you do it. Just kidding. Nope. <laughs> yeah. No, no, no. Um, I, I was glad to have left. It's been, it's been interesting. Um, done a lot, seen a lot. Um, but would rather not have been there for as long as I was. But yeah, got to make the money. Otherwise, you know, going away doesn't happen. So. Mm -hmm. That's fair. Houses and all that stuff, they all, call darn it, they all just cost money. Welcome to adulthood. Mm -hmm. that is a, if that only, is a if only it paid to be a content creator. <laughs> <laughs> what do no, you mean? We're not doing content. Um, I just ring you up every week. Talk about, this is content? Uh, you're just is that what this is? This you're just duping me into uh, into a conversation for two hours every week. <laughs> yeah. yeah, I was like, damn, I need a friend. <laughs> <laughs> I'll just say this is a podcast, <laughs> and that way you'll be stuck here. <laughs> and how about you? How are you doing? How are you? Because uh, yeah. we haven't spoken, or we haven't spoken a lot recently because I've been busy. So. Yeah, I can always tell when you're just like, I'm always like, it's definitely a bad week because Sean's like not checking in at all. He's like <laughs> just trying to live and survive. <laughs> uh, life has uh, has been good. Whoa, Jiggy Collector! Oh man. Acid TK is all in on the banjo kazooie. He has now changed his name to Jiggy Collector. I love it. <laughs> it's a real, it's a real Phil protest for some banjo. Here is what I'm feeling. I like it a lot. Um, no, sorry. I am. Uh, I, I'm doing. I'm doing good. We're uh, just kind of going about the the work stuff. Nothing. I don't really have anything fun to report. Anything exciting. I'm just kind of your, your yeah. kids went back to school. You have normality. Normality That's as, true. A, That's as an true. adult has res has resumed. Yeah, that that is true, Sean. Thanks. I I did I did somewhat like I don't know. It's, I guess maybe I don't know how I forgot that, but somehow I seem to have forgotten that. Um, yeah, they're back to school. That that is good, and I I love it that my kids like school. It's not a fight or anything like that. Like they're normal children. By the end of the year, they're like, I hate school. I want to get out. I can't wait for summer. But then by the end of summer, they're like, okay. Yeah, I want to go back to my friends, and I don't want to leave. I want to not be around you, and uh, and I'm like, cool, because <laughs> I feel the same way, jerk. <laughs> and and because of normality, you you were telling me before we went live that you have potentially, and I'm going to touch wood, <laughs> knock on my old noggin, um, that you have some time tomorrow to play games. Yeah, it's not that, that, that thing. So it's not going to happen. I swear, I swear, it's something. There's going to be a fire in the office of some sort. Like right now, I have no meetings. I have nothing going on. We're all good, um, except for one meeting that I just set earlier today. So I do have something with some guy in Game Pass Tracker, uh, but that's okay. I, I, I kind of like. Not just too. some guy. Just some He's guy. an important guy. Just <laughs> some guy. Um, uh, so other than that one meeting, I don't have uh, I don't have anything. But I swear, something is going to catch on fire. It always happens. I'm always like, and usually it's like, wait, I'll drop off the kids. I'll come back, kind of get that cushy, like in the seat. And I'm like, <sighs> and then it's like, Ding! and there it is. Because, you know, all cell phones make old phone sounds. Um, So, no, but Let's I say like, <laughs> welcome to the 1970s, kids. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> You gotta like put your finger in and any, never, never mind. Nobody knows. I, I, I just a, a random thing. I had never used one of those touch dial phones like that. Called rotaries, I, I believe. Rotary phones. Ro yeah, rotary. Yeah. I had never used a rotary phone until I started working at a power station. That's fantastic. That seems like the time you would stop using it and start using something, you know, a little yeah. bit more high tech. We, we we still had them dotted around on site to make phone calls from. Mm. I was like, oh, I wanted to use one. Mm -hmm. Just that. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah, no, I think they're fun. I mean, it's been a long. It's been a long. My grandparents had one. That's used to used to call my mom on it from my grandparents' house. So, um, yeah, I do like the Facebook videos where you put it in front of young kids and they like you know try to figure out if it's a video game or or what this thing does or if it cooks their lunch or what. And they're like, nope. <laughs> Nope, it's an old phone. Hell yeah. It's, it's the same video as when you ask them the question of, like, how do you take a picture? Yeah. Like, if you asked your kids how would you take a picture, no, none of them would go, like, they're taking a picture of a camera. They would, like, cell phone and be like. Mm-hmm. Yep, that's true. <laughs> that is 100% true. So, yeah. But other than that, there you go. That's Sweet. life. So, well, let's, let's uh, well, uh, we won't go straight into it because I always forget. So it's like, I'm scrolling down the dock. I'm like, what do we do next? Ah, yes. Housekeeping. Uh, <laughs> you can find us on pretty much every networking app that is out there. Everything is at TPT Gaming News. Um, our social team have been doing an amazing job keeping up with Gamescom. Uh, we've got trailers dropping. We have screenshots of stuff. We have all the interviews with Phil. They're all been spilling out onto X uh, as well as TikTok, um, Instagram, Facebook, all over the place. If you have any thoughts, you have any questions, you can join in on us on a public Discord now. Uh, it's the VGT one, which covers a whole host of everything that we talk about. It'll be Game Pass, PlayStation, Nintendo. Um, I believe Steam's making its way into there as well. So we just have a anything gaming related is there, or anything not gaming related. It's a pretty safe place. You can come and chat with us um, over there. The link is in the show notes. Um, so yeah, follow along from that. It's free to join at the moment. If you're liking what you're hearing as well, and you'd like to give us a review, and you listen to this on a podcasting app, I personally use Spotify, uh, but you know, there's Apple. I was going to say Google, but I think that's disappearing now, so you won't find us on Google Podcasts because it's no longer there. What? I didn't um, know that. No, no, yeah, I've me. been getting emails weeks telling me that it's like that it's disappearing. Huh. So obviously, they didn't have enough traffic. Uh, but anyway, if you are listening to us on a podcasting application, please, you know, drop us some stars. Let- as a review, anything like that, it helps us reach you know higher up in the charts, makes us reach more fans, which you know means that we get to make more and greater content for you guys. And we wouldn't be a we wouldn't be called Game Pass Tracker if there wasn't something called Game Pass. So we you know we can't go away without talking about the Big Daddy itself. Um, so if you love Game Pass, you love our show, you want to show your support, head to the link in the description and sign up to Game Pass from the Xbox.com website. Just make sure you follow that link. You'll not only be supporting us, but you'll also be supporting the game. Game Pass Tracker Show and everybody that sits behind it. And you'll be signing up to the best gaming subscription out there at the moment, which is, of course, Xbox Game Pass. So sign up to whatever level you desire, be like Core, and you guys have got three new games this month. Um, standard, PC, Game Pass, or Game Pass Ultimate. Just go and play your own way by using the code in the chat or the show notes, which will help us continue to create even more content for you guys, our amazing fans. So now all the housekeeping kind of bits and the stuff that's pushing you into directions to follow us is finished. We will start talking about this week's Xbox news. It's the X feed. That's right. Where we talk about the top stories and we have f- f- five of them, five top stories. Uh, first off, Xbox at Gamescom has unveiled multiple new accessibility offerings, uh, including how to clear your throat. No, just kidding. Including the adaptive joystick. Uh, I know what this reminds me of now. It just hit me. The adaptive joystick, that is. I was telling Sean, I was like, it reminds me of something. Nunchuck. Yes, exactly. I was like, what does this remind me of? It reminds me of the nunchuck. Yeah. Could not think of it until just now. That's what it reminds me of. I think this is awesome. Yeah, it is. I, I love when a hardware company like Xbox gets behind you know, making... Accessible for people in all different ways. I know, I know, we've had accessible accessibility controllers from them, or accessibility accessories from them previous. But the fact that, like, when you purchase this, it gives you files to three D print um, different toppers from the mm-hmm. design lab. I think that's fantastic. That's going above and beyond for me. It's like, hey, we've made this awesome controller for you that you know for people who need the accessibility and adaptive lifestyles and stuff like that we have made these awesome things for you but not only that but we've gone above and beyond for with our team who designed the controllers have gone above and beyond to make accessibility accessories and further accessories that you can 3d print at home or send to somebody who can 3d print or pay to have 3d printed um 
so you know you, you we can make your gaming even more you know comfortable and easy for you i think that is brilliant i you know fantastic well done 100 percent. i can't say anything more than what you've already said they rocked it out um, story number two, Microsoft new, Microsoft's new Xbox Series X and S console lineup launches this October. Uh, Sean, we've been talking about this a bit already. Uh, we've, we've chatted about the prices seem a little, a little steep. I was, I was expecting more of a, of a digital S disc or a digital X discount, to be honest. But, uh, you know, here we are. Yeah. I mean, that still sticks that. It's not a mid, mm-hmm. uh, mid gen, not a mid generation refresh, but it's like uh, you know they've they've realised that you know one terabyte or half a terabyte if your original Series X owner just isn't quite up there, especially with them pushing Game Pass and how big games are. Um, that I'd have thought they'd have tried to keep at least the same price banding as an original. I mean. Do you think this is going to come out at like a fifty dollar discount on for like retailers? Because like right now, I can go on Microsoft and purchase a Series X for four hundred and sixty three dollars. Like, and yet, um, yet they want me to buy the Series X digital, which is the for same, less than twenty dollars less. Yeah. Yeah, for for fourteen bucks less, they want me to. I mean, I don't know, man. Something think, doesn't make sense. I think, I think you're either going to see, a, like you say, a fifty dollar discount at retailers for this, or you're going to see the original consoles drop in price massively. Yeah, that's fair. But then why so, wouldn't you just like buy that, the original that's... console? Like I, I don't understand. Yeah, but, well, they play into the. It's one of those you play into the hands of everybody. Always wants to has the new. One. And newest and greatest. Yeah, I so, guess. I guess yeah. this one. I mean, I'm me. looking. It, <laughs> I'm looking at this, and I'm like, that Galaxy Black Series X looks really nice. Oh my gosh! Like, and it's two terabyte, and I've always thought about wanting to expand the hard drive, but I, I couldn't justify five hundred and fifty. <laughs> so, yeah. Yeah. But also. Yeah. The other thing that they said, um, I, for the bits of Gamescom that I managed to catch in and out of work, um, when they were showing this off, they were talking about um, skins and reps that were coming out soon for the consoles. So, okay. like, that Galaxy one looks really nice, but if they make, like, a wrap for my original Series X, which makes it look a little bit like the Galaxy, I'll just buy the wrap. Yeah, yeah. Like, why isn't, why didn't the digital get the two terabyte? I, I... So there's so much stuff that confuses me about this. I just don't understand. Like the one's all digital, and it got the lesser hard drive. That I mean, that, yeah. I mean, there's so much that doesn't make sense. I am utterly baffled by all of it. Yeah, and they went for the robot white as well, which I don't understand. I I, I think the big dis the, the diff, big differences between the two consoles was that the Series S was white and the Series X was black. Um, sure. Right now, they're right now they're selling it on their site. Xbox is selling it on their site for four hundred and sixty nine dollars. Normally four ninety nine. <laughs> so I can buy it from their site right now for four. Uh, whatever. I'm done. I don't think it's that good of a deal. I was expecting, I was expecting more than this. That's all I'm gonna say. Obviously, if you couldn't get that from my tone and my snarkiness, I think this is well, a poopy maybe, deal. Maybe not so much. Not so much answer. more from them, but the same but less. If, yeah, yeah, like, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I was expecting to give um, them less. That's right. That's what yeah. I was expecting. To, I want to give you less money, but get more stuff. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I Which, mean, yeah, well, the thing's mean, been makes out. Makes consumer sense. Yeah, well, the thing's been out for a long time. I don't know. It just, I, I, was, I was kind of worried that I was going to be wooed into buying one of these before I knew what was going on with the Switch. And now I don't feel wooed, so I'm good. You didn't woo me, Phil. Woo me more. That's all I got to say. All right. Give him time. Give him time. He always does. Story <laughs> number three. The Fa- Fable's legendary creator, Peter Molyneux, cre- announces new game, Masters of Albion. 
Looks like a, it's a city builder where you can zoom in on any one creature from a chicken to your player. And you're building a city. Sounds fun to me. I'm in. This has this. I'm gonna, I'm gonna say this has you written all over. Yeah. It. Over. I I watched. I also watching the video. I I really liked that everything was really customizable as well. Like, and not only that, but the houses you could customize each floor of the house to look different. I thought, yeah, they they spent some time on this, and it looked really easy to play. I know it, it's on PC so far, but they could quite easily make this a mobile game. What? Me. What'd you just say? I want it on my Mother console, again. Sean. Oh, but gosh. yeah, obviously on the console. Oh, but it, it, you're probably the, the right. Way it but played in, yeah, the way it played in the video, everything was really like drag and drop. So that would that would transfer really well to console, not to console, so to mobile rather than console. Excuse me. I know you don't like me to say, but well, you know, they're working you. with King to 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 expand the mobile gaming library. Excuse me while I remove the dagger from my heart. Thank you. Yes, you're, you're not you're you're not wrong, and you're probably even right. But oh, that's I didn't have thought of that. I was really like, well, they're gonna just gotta come to console. Come on. But yeah, you're right. It's an it would be another mobile option. It looks a little hefty for mobile though. Maybe I don't know. I don't Possibly. Know. I don't know. Anyways, maybe a strip. Maybe a stripped back version. Yeah. But... Mm-hmm. Yeah, I'd like I'd like to see on console because obviously then you play it and then we'd be able to get the feedback of how you enjoy it. But, yeah, yeah, and, I, and it'd drag you away from my time at Sandrock. Well, that'll happen with Core Keeper coming out in a week, so we'll talk about that later. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, I'm I'm excited to I, I'm excited to to see a bit more about it. It looks it looks fun. Um, I love Fable. Uh, you know, I'm I'm interested like in in some type of a time frame, which we of course we're not given. Uh, but we, I guess, shall shall see. And if it ends up on, on I do, mobile, I, I blame I it on want, you. I do want to know how Pete has found the time to make another game while making Fable, though. Like, is this just is this guy not want to sleep? Apparently, <laughs> apparently not. He's been making Masters of Albion along with Fable Four. I tell you. Uh, all right, that's uh, that's story number three. Story number four: New info about Hi-Fi Rush Dev Tango GameWorks acquisition. It was an acqu in aqua hire which is the first time i've ever heard this sean i've never heard yeah. aqua hire i suppose this is why when last week we were talking about that they don't have access to other tango game work games like uh ghostwire tokyo uh, mm. i'm wondering if that's the reason why because rather than in in taking on the the whole developer they've kind of just taken on the team sure so Tango Gameworks has still shut down and the staff have now are working for Crafton rather than Tango Gameworks. Mm -hmm. But because you've done that, you can't then take all the games that were then under that developer. I guess not, but they apparently took Hi-Fi Rush. Yeah, that was probably part of the, like, we'll give you all a job as long as we get access to, the, you know, your highest acclaimed, highest uh, accoladed game. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, kind of makes it worth it then. Yeah, I would imagine so. Plus you get all the people that were talented enough to make it. So, well, I mean, I'm excited for them. I'm excited for the the studio. I'm glad that uh, you know, or at least the employees of the studio, glad that they get to keep uh, you know, they get to keep their jobs, one, and they get to keep doing what they love, I think I, I imagine. So, that's yeah. cool. Um, yeah, and so this deal has actually been effective since uh has been in effect since August 1st. They've just been waiting to announce it. So, so that explains too why, because I was a little confused. I was like, "Well, how how were all these people still just hanging out in this studio?" But that would uh, that would better explain how that all how that all went down. Kudos to them, because obviously somebody jumped on jumped on all those all those employees that they knew were talented pretty pretty darn quick. So it says something about them. Yep. All right. I, I, oh, I think, I'm gonna say I think that's all we could say about that one. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Wrap that puppy up. All right. Uh, story number five: Xbox Store wish lists will soon appear on your console home screen. Sean, do you use wish lists? Um, I do. Yes. Oh, really? I didn't expect because I see yeah, that coming. I, I use them because then I can go into my wish list and I can see if there's any of them that are on a decent sale without having to then think, oh, what was that game that I really liked? Hmm. So, like, yeah, I've started to use them. 
So I'm, really, I'm quite excited that this has come to my home screen because it saves me having to go into the store, down to my wish list, wait for the wish list to load, and then scroll. For, if this is like straight there on the dashboard, I can be like, mm-hmm. well, uh, I've played that on Game Pass. I've played that on Game Pass. I've played that on Game Pass. I wonder what game I can go and buy for a decent price. And then I can like go ahead and have a look. Yeah, I mean, I don't use wish list, but if I can easily see it, then I might start. I could see I could see doing that. Um hmm. I'm yeah, I could see doing that. I like I said, I I don't use it. I'm I'm usually not like I'm usually not thinking about too many games to buy on Xbox. I usually have like a couple a year that I that I think about, you know, currently coming up here in a in a handful of days Outlaw um Star Wars Outlaws. I'm I'm like on the on the edge for for whether or not I'm going to I'm going to pull the trigger on that one. So yeah, and, and Smasher over on X has said pretty much the same. He's like, he's he likes, I like to wish list, especially if I do a detailed read up on a game that's obscure and sounds really fun to me. Yeah. So, yeah, that's that's it. And I like the fact that then you've had your eye on this game for a while and it pops up and tells you. Come on, how much money do you think they're going to make off of this? This was like, this is probably like somebody was like, how the hell did we didn't think about this a long time ago? I mean, you're just sitting there, you know, they do those like 75% sales. You're just going to be yep. sitting there. And, and he goes on to say that, like, yeah, he would love to get notifications. Smash is that he wants to get notifications on the ones that he's listed when they come on set. Yeah. That's, if you can set that as a notification when you turn the Xbox on, be like, hey, look, this game is in your wish. Like Amazon do it. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't oh, forget yeah. what's in your basket. We have just reduced the price of this item. Yeah. So is he, and then you're like, well, I can save six nine. That lady that Purchased. starts with an A and ends with an A. I can't say or else something will Amanda. Yeah, that's right. She she's always <laughs> like, Hey, did you know? Did you know that this and this is on your wish list and it's thirty percent off right now? Um so yeah, yeah, no, I think this is this is brilliant uh from a consumer standpoint and also from a marketing and like uh, just making money standpoint. Yeah, definitely. This was a very smart move. They've obviously looked at how other companies run their sales and advertisement and have kind of gone that's a really good way of doing it yeah we should do that too there you go we don't have any news bulletins we do have new game announcements we're not going to talk about it here we're going to talk about it in the feature story which is right now feature story talking about gamescom games breakdown uh sean are you excited for new forza horizon 5 stuff um i'm gonna give it a try because i always give their stuff when it comes out, a good try because they do they do make some extremely good game modes, especially when they're as fun and exciting as this one sounds. Um, so the new game mode we're on about is a uh, it's called Hide. It's is called Hide and Seek. Um, so in this new game mode that's coming to Forza Horizon Five, you play as a hider and try and conceal your presence until you reach your destination, or you can take on the role of one of the seekers to try and sniff out the hider, fill your meter, and win. Uh, this is coming September 2024. I think if you have a group of friends that have yeah. got you know, a big interest in, in this and you still play it quite often, I think this is probably one of those, like a mini game you guys can all play together mm-hmm. and have a good blast. So, Yeah, they do, you know, they do keep bringing stuff in that is somewhat fun. I think it draws players back for a little bit, maybe hooks a few, but... And then you know probably even probably even captures maybe a few new new fans that hadn't yet tried it out, but um, yeah, I think that's cool. Um, and what I always like is that is if you've paid for like the season pass of Forza, these are all part and parcel of the game on Game Pass. So. Yeah, yeah, very cool. Uh, Diablo Four: Vessel of Hatred coming out October eighth, twenty twenty four. That's cool. Yeah, I haven't still yet to play Diablo 4. I can't bring myself to do it. I just, I get too distracted by other things, and it's one of those games that I think you need to spend some time in. Mm-hmm. And given that I have had very little time, I've, I've, I've kind of shied away from it. I spent some time there and don't plan to go back. Not because it's a bad game, it's just <laughs> definitely not a game for me. If the trailer has anything to show for its uh, <clears throat> graphic, you know, nature. Uh, Starfield Shattered Space, September 30th, 2024. I was getting nervous this wasn't going to make it this year, Sean. I wasn't sure, but here it is. Here yeah. it will be. We said, well, we said in last week that we had the feeling that the two things that got 
pushed back were the only ones that were going to get pushed back and we were going to get dates mm-hmm. on other things. And here when we are, we have dates on yeah. other bits and pieces. We are so smart, Sean. We're amazing. They are, no. It's, it's not like we've been following Xbox long enough to kind of figure out that they have a pattern of these things. Yeah, that's right. Ditch the ditch the crappy, unsavory news and then celebrate all the good news in the showcase. That's the plan. Yeah. That's always the plan. Uh, Starfield Shattered Space, September 30th, a mysterious power stirs in the city of Dazra on House Varun's hidden homeworld. Investigate a frightening cosmic threat to explore a new planet because, you know, a thousand isn't enough and find unique <laughs> weapons, spacesuits, and gear in this all new adventure. Yeah. And also, talking about Starfield, um, Phil was really pushing the fact that he w- he was enjoying the vehicles in Starfield. Mm-hmm. So, I can't remember if they are out yet or if they are due to be out. But he seemed quite excited about it. So, yeah, I'm not sure. I have not gone back, so I can't tell you. Sean, you, I thought you would be pretty excited about the next one. Adam Fall coming to Game Pass 2025. Was that not that was the um, Fallout style game that we thought was? Like basically Fallout London, but mm-hmm. not Fallout London. Yeah, yeah. Sense. Fallout in your home in well, not your hometown, but Fallout in your home country. So yeah, uh, I'm probably going to give this. I'm I'm. A, I was worried that it wasn't coming to Game Pass. I think that was one of the things that kind of kept me distance away from the mm-hmm. game was the fact that there was no announcement about Game Pass when we saw this in, um, you know the the showcase the sum, like the summer showcase era, but now it's coming to Game Pass. It will definitely be something that I. I have a go at. Yeah, I think it's... Because, you know, I'm a, I'm a sucker for a first-person shooter. I know, I know. I think it looks interesting. I'll give it a go for sure. So, uh, but we have some time to wait. 2025. So, Age of Mythology retold September 4th. Ara History Untold September 24th. Um, anything there? Uh, no, Maybe. I think Age of Mythology is a PC only. And Ara History Untold... We've seen a lot of it, and I think that was one of them that kind of swung us in opposite directions. You got swung more towards it. I got swung further away from it. So, Yeah, I'll, I'll probably give it a go, but I don't know. Uh, that's coming really close to Zelda, so i um, just going to say. You might not be, You might not give Ara a go because yeah. apparently it's PC only as well. Oh, really? I thought okay. one of the... I've got, I... them, I've got them the wrong way around. Age of Mythology is going to be on the mm. console and our uh, History Untold PC, mm. according to Smasher. Mm. There you go. In the Two... chat. Well... He's doing a real good job of keeping me informed. <laughs> Thank you. Um, uh, Indiana Jones in the Great Circle, December 9th. Okay, there's only one real question here, Sean. Are you going to pay $35 to play early and to have the upgrades and all that fun stuff? Let me see. I only I always base this on mm-hmm. what I'm working. So let me go and have a look. Um, ooh, possibly depends on how early. Three like, days. So I take it to the sixth. Mm, that's right. No. No, he's not doing it. He's not doing it. It's all no, about I'll, the calendar. I, I, well, I I'll have just finished nights. That morning, so I have to sleep. I get you. And then, like, obviously, the seeing the family, so I can probably wait till the ninth. Yeah, I probably could too. I'm not. I'm. I'm excited about this game, but I'm not like. Ooh, but but you do get um, you do get the the DLC when it comes out. I guess some costumes. I don't really care about the costumes, but I do want the DLC when it comes out. So um, you know, I'll I'll probably pop for the thirty five dollars. Get the DLC. Get the yeah, three days. And it depends it. if the DLC is like fifteen. Fifteen dollars later on down the line, I'll probably just pay the fifteen. Oh yeah, it probably than... will be fifteen. But I got three days yeah. and DLC, Sean, and some random <laughs> and costume costumes. that I'm probably never even going to change into. So ha ha ha! Who won that? Anyways, uh... <laughs> 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 the bit that I do like, and we're gonna, you, I think you're gonna, but I, I want to mention this because I'm super excited for this, and they were really excited for this as well. This is going to PlayStation Five like early 2025 which i'm so happy for i am i am so happy that people on on playstation are getting these games from xbox i know there's a little bit of you know exclusivity because we've got it early but Mm -hmm. let's not tell the ftc about um but like i'm super excited that you know that this this sharing of games is definitely 
as much as it is ever so slightly one sided at the moment, is happening. Ever. It's ever so slightly. <laughs> yeah. But it, it's a promise that Phil made that he, like, he wanted the, these games to be everywhere for everyone to play, and he's continuing to kind of be on, on it. So, and this is a huge game for, him, for us to get it in December, and then there was guys on the PlayStation get it early 2025. Just says a lot. I'm I, I'm super excited for that. Yeah, I thought it was pretty good that they only they only you're only waiting like two months. That's pretty good. <laughs> I thought it would be more like six months to be honest, but uh, yeah. but I'm not fussed either way. That's cool. I'm with you. Let them let 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 everybody enjoy Indiana Jones. Are you are you still excited for this game as you was when we first saw it when we first saw that trailer? Yeah, yeah. Probably, yeah. I'm, I'm still pretty. I'm still pretty pumped about it. Um, but yeah, is it? Is it? Let's see. We got. We have Zelda coming out. There's some Luigi Mario game. Um, yeah, it's probably the game I'm most excited about this year. I'd say that, like that we know of. That's that's out there. I'm, I'm trying to think. I might have missed something that I don't know about. But um, yeah. I mean, other than Stalker Two, this is probably that. Yeah, over there quite yeah. easily. Yeah, this one's going to be more in my alley, I think, than Stalker 2. Stalker 2 might very well be one of those games I play, and I'm like, nope, 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 <laughs> nope, 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 nope. So we'll see. But, but I mean, Indiana Jones is definitely like, yeah. Ah, Outlaws. I forgot about Outlaws. Gosh darn it. And that, that's coming out, I think, the same day as Core Keeper, which is a real kick in my pants. Um, but I'll, uh, you know. Which one's free? <laughs> Shut your mouth. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, that was the auction in me. It's like, oh, two games I want to play coming out in the same game, which was free. Play the one that's free first, because then if you don't enjoy it, go out and buy the next one. Well, that's a, why you always got to bring logic into these conversations, Sean? It's bad. <laughs> what, what, you could just do it my I'm way, a, where, a parent. You, where you pay for the one game, and then you go back to the free game, and you just don't play the free game. You have the one you paid for. You're like, wow, Core Keeper's really Wait, good, Sean. Um, I mean, it makes for good content when I have to turn around and say, I told you so. <laughs> <Yeah>. But, <laughs> <laughs> like, <laughs> but, yeah, no, yeah. that you, your, your, your way is the right way. It might not be yeah, the way yeah. I go, I'm, but <laughs> I admit it's the right no. way. I'm, I'm still on the edge about Outlaws. I, I think I need to listen to, I think I need to go and listen to Bruce yeah. talk about it on the uh, Star Wars Dads and then listen to your feedback as well and be before I make my decision. I know Bruce is going to be very, very ever so slightly biased because he is, you know, just that eensy weensy bit of a Star Wars fan. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, well, he's going to have your Star Wars voice for you, right? So I mean, I've watched him, but I give <laughs> I give not one shit about about lore and all that <laughs> stuff. Um, in fact, I actually love it because it's not like part of the whole like movie thing. So. Um, so yeah, let's uh yeah, there'll be two very different opinions, I would imagine. Because Bruce will be like, Well, you know, the color of the lightsaber was a little bit off because I mean the at that point the lightsaber had that crystal that made it like and this is gonna be what are those kyber crystals, I think they're called? Anyways, um I'll be like, it should have been this color. And I'm gonna be like, I don't know, but it was fun. I got to lop people's heads off with a lightsaber and I loved it. <laughs> That's gonna be the difference. <laughs> Um. Anyways, that's uh. We're we're not even talking. That's Owlaws wasn't even supposed to be on here. Who did that? Um. Towerborn announces early access beginning September 10th. That's fun. I'm in on that. There's so many games. Yep, I'm like I'm in on that. I'm in on that. <laughs> FYI, when I say I'm in on that, I mean wow, that looks fun. I probably won't get to play it. I won't have time to play it. That's what that means. I don't know. I, not <laughs> the thing is, as it gets towards the back end of the year, and you stop being outside as much. That's when you, use, we we do this every year. It's we true. get into this lull of like not playing games because it's nice outside mm-hmm. and to do family things outside, mm-hmm. and then like it, you know, winter sets in and you know it gets to like five degrees Fahrenheit and you don't want to go out and play Pikmin Bullet, Pikmin Go, so you stay inside right. and play Xbox games. Yeah, yeah, I like it. Well, yeah, because you always feel bad. You know, you're like kids, go outside and do something, and then you're like, good, they're gone. Now I'm gonna play games. <laughs> And then they get really outside outside. when I play games. That's right. (laughs) Um, This next one, this next one, I showed Logan it earlier, and he is super excited for this. It's Goat Simulator Remastered, which is coming sometime in 2024. Um, He was kind of sat with me while I was 
in the middle of writing all the stuff and, and taking notes for bits and pieces that happened on Gamescom. And I flicked across this on YouTube and watched it. He was just like, he wanted to play it there and then, and then was that upset <laughs> that he couldn't play it there and then he settled to play Goat Simulator 3. <laughs> yeah, because wasn't it him and his sister that, that played that together? Oh, they've played it to death. I think they would. I think they would. I think in on Emily's Xbox account, they have a hundred percent at it. Nice. So, that's awesome. Together. That that's cool memories right there. You can't beat that stuff. Uh, Sniper Elite Resistance coming twenty twenty five, and then surprisingly, yep, another... are, you exci- are you excited for this? Um, I am. I like I like the Sniper Elite games because I like the. The emphasis on having to like look at distance, bullet drop, mm-hmm. speed, wind, everything. I, it, it it does a lot for like for that genre of game. So I'm quite excited for that. Nice. This is the uh, bullet cam, right? Doesn't this doesn't this have the bullet? Cam? Yeah, you. I mean, you can turn that off if you don't want all the gruesome, gruesome gore. But uh-huh. yeah, right. I like to keep it on because I like to watch the trajectory of the bullet. Mm-hmm. Honest. <laughs> Through the guy's head into his brain. Out the other no, side. I like to aim, I like to I like to aim for the nuts. <laughs> I'd say I'd say a good eighty percent of the shots I take, it's like I am going for your nuts, but I'm going in for your left cheek. <laughs> Sean's, Sean's not a sniper; he's a snipper. That's the difference. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Klaus! I can't have kids anymore. <laughs> I'm just going for. A, FYI, I'm learning German, so I have German on the brain, but also most of the Sniper Elite games I've played, you are, you are unfortunately in That's that true. era where yeah. they were shooting Germans, so I apologize. Sean won the war, not because he killed everybody, but because none of them can have children. That's how he won. <laughs> the population is done. <laughs> A painstaking task, but it was worth it. Somebody had to do it. Uh, Lost in Random, The Eternal Die comes out 2025. And surprisingly, I am interested in this because this this is the one game that I got sucked into. Okay, no pun intended. I wasn't really trying to get there randomly uh, last year. And uh, it's it's turn-based. No, is it? No, it's not turn-based. You roll a die, and depending on what the die is depends on what your attack is. And so I can't even remember entirely, but it's a very interesting, like quirky uh, attack system. And it was fun. I, I had a lot of fun and it went a lot longer than I thought. It was like a 35 hour game, which for me, wow. let me I, I remember, I remember you talking about this because mm-hmm. I can remember you trying to get me to play it. And I, I think at the time there was other stuff that I was intrigued in. So. Yeah, the the writing was great. The story was really good. Um, I will definitely go back and uh, play this one. That is that is the first definite. I will play this game on this entire <laughs> list. Let me. Well, no, Indiana Jones. No, there's that one. Um, and then Void Train, which is a game that had a train, but no, I don't know. I don't think about it. I don't know. <laughs> yeah, I the, the last two I hadn't seen anything of because I I don't know if they came or. Out later in the day today or if i just miss them completely while i was doing some research so gotcha yeah so those are all the games i don't know it's pretty 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 stacked games com i'd say yeah there was, there was lots in there there was lots obviously in there that xbox have announced that they showed off um some different modes for, for call of duty black ops 6 mm-hmm. um which obviously i'm excited about i think nick's a little bit excited about for the campaign yeah um, oh, and wait, didn't they announce the beta mode or whatever in that? Yeah, the beta talk is about live, that. I think. Yeah. yeah. So there's a there's a beta thing. When is that coming? How did we make it? 10th of September. But... I'm sure I've seen that date about it. But yeah, I'm, I mean, the stuff they're showing off for that game is fantastic. They have put a lot of time and effort into it. I'm super stoked that we get like access to it as a Game Pass subscriber. Um, yeah. Yeah, I was looking. You you sent it to me at some point, and I yeah don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think of other things I've seen. But I I kind of focus just just because we uh, we make the show. I I kind of focus solely on the Game Pass stuff mm-hmm. because yeah, that's what we talk about. Um, I don't want to get too excited about other things that are coming on Xbox because then that means I have to spend money and and not play stuff that's on Game Pass on my backlog is already huge. So. I don't even have a backlog anymore. I don't, I just got, I, 
<laughs> just have a log. I just have a log. <laughs> There's so much stuff back there. It's just like it's, just, I don't just know. poking out in front of mm-hmm. you. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So subscribers will be able to download the beta early starting August 28th. Xbox Game Pass owners can play Black Ops open beta early with no purchase needed from August 30th to September 9th. There you go. Ah, that's OK. So it ends on the 9th. That's why I which unfortunately I am away for half of that. And then the second half, I'm going to spend my time moving my eldest daughter to, to university. So hmm. probably not going to have much time with that. I will try to download it. Let's see. I wonder if it's only multiplayer or what you can do. Does it say? I'm, a, I'm going to go and assume that it's only multiplayer. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Once I said that, I was like, I bet this is just multiplayer. At which point, I will not. I will not be playing it. Oh. Possibly, maybe some zombies. Yeah, because that was a. Uh, they were quite leaning heavy on that. Yeah, so. they were. Yeah. Well, if you had some time, I'd play zombies with you. I'd be a no help. I mean, I'd be a... <laughs> I have never played Call of Duty Zombies. What? Ever. I've played Call it, of Duty it, Zombies. It was never a mode that interested me for some reason. Huh? Like, it, I think it's because it's that whole. Um, What's the name? Like when you play a game, like you start with nothing and you have to work all the way up, and then when she oh, rogue like, yeah, mm-hmm. yeah, it is that. Yeah, I mm-hmm. Yep. Mm-hmm. I mean, to be fair, I wasn't like zombies. I love this game. I was playing with my cousin, I think, and he was like, "I love zombies. Play with me." And I was like, "Sure, I suck, but I will. Let's have fun." <laughs> so then he just, you know, dragged me through the levels. It was fun. All right, that is Gamescom. Anything else before we uh, move on to our uh, dashboards? Um, no. I mean, no. I've, I've already said what I'm excited for the most. Um, Atom Fall, Indiana Jones, and I might try the Horizon 5 stuff, and I might go back to Starfield, but it, that's, a, that's a lot of work for Starfield. If you go back to Starfield, I will be amazingly surprised i would be like holy crap because if i could the thing is with stuff if i could get the the ship building stuff right i'd get that in my head that this is i'll be fine but i got to that point and it was like i got to that point in fallout 4 where i was having to build bigger settlements and i was kind of like this isn't the game that i want to play i just want to run around do missions and shoot stuff Mm -hmm. like so yeah. Well, that's we should have played Fallout Four together. I could have done the settlement, and then I could have handed the controller off to you. We could have played it old, old style. Been like, all right, your settlement's <laughs> built. Here, you go and do the other crap. I don't want to do that part. So yeah. Yeah. you get all the press and stuff. I'll just build things. <laughs> exactly. Um, There's another settlement yeah. that needs your help. I have it on your mini map. <laughs> um, I am interested in Adam Fall. I, I mean, I think Starfield's great. I'm just not going to play it. I'll just be real honest. And it's it's not that it's not a good game or whatever, blah, blah, blah. I'm just not going to play it. Um, Adam Fall, Indiana Jones. Kind of interested in Towerborn, to be honest. I, I will definitely uh, give early access a, a, a try. I, I was gonna, I thought Towerborn would have been something that, that pulled you in. Yeah. If I'm yeah. honest. And then Lost in Random. So there cool. you have it. Well... Let's go to the dashboard, and we can talk about some of the things I have actually been playing. The dashboard. The dashboard is where we talk about games we've been playing, we will play, we think we want to play, or our kids are playing, or our best friend's playing, or we saw somebody play on a stream once. No, I'm just kidding. Most of those are not true. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Sean, what have you been playing? Um, I've been playing some more Crash Bandicoot. Um, I've got to that horrific level with the bridge in the mist. Ah, okay. Um, bridge in the mist. I, I started that level with 17 lives, and then I got game over. Mm. Which says a lot for how hard that game is. So, do, how? I mean, how how punishing is game over? Like, uh, you just go back and to to the start of the level all over again. So oh, okay, 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 okay. But yeah, it's not like you um, died 17 times. Not like the that, original yeah. Super Mario where you like right. you know you had to start the game all over. All right, yeah, yeah. The way the through. way you said that, I was like, holy crap! What? what how was this rolling here? Uh, but yeah, no. I was just annoyed that I'd spent 17 lives on. That's fair. Basically, the same jump. <laughs> <laughs> we know what to say, Sean. Just get good. What's wrong? 
I'm just yeah, I know. That's why I always I say, I say this myself. So don't worry about it. <laughs> um, and then because I got a taste for Activision games, I reinstalled Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 just for a little bit of nostalgia and kind of one of those when I was finishing nights and the house was still asleep. Um, I could come in and kind of like take my brain out and just listen to old like skate punk and play like the levels that I used to play as a as a kid just remastered. Nice. Which is nice. I also forgot how like frantic that game can get as well. So. A little a little nostalgia for you. Yeah. Just just nice and easy gameplay. That was that's mm. all I needed. Like I'd come in from work and it'll have been hectic and I'm tired and but I don't like to get straight into bed because then I wake up too early or I get into bed and Lindsay gets up and because she, she's going to take the dog out and stuff. It just, yeah, doesn't work. So mm-hmm. I like I play that until the house woke up and then as Lindsay's walking the dog, give everybody breakfast and then I go up. So nice. Yep. And then I watched Emily. I put I put I put the idea of Ari into Emily's head because nice. I thought she would really like the the art style because she's a big fan of anime like art style and small creatures and stuff. So she saw the art, art style and instantly fell in love with it anyway. Um, so then, like, one morning I came in, I'd, I'd get, given them all breakfast, and I was like, why don't And it was a pretty crappy day outside. And I was like, rather than staring at your phone or, like, at your iPad, why don't you try this? And my, I said to the only thing I'm going to say to you is, if you are struggling to do a part or get to somewhere, it's because you're not ready to get there yet. So it's the style of the game. Try going in a different direction. You'll get more power ups, and you'll be able to do. It. That was the only thing I said to mm-hmm. her. She played it for three hours, and she absolutely loved it. She like it's the first thing she said to me when I got back up later on that day. She was like, "I played that game for for three hours, and I got really, really far, and I really, really liked it." That yeah. So I played. I didn't have an Xbox. Um when Ori came out, the first one, the first time I played it was on the Switch, and um, Ariel was very, very little. I mean, you know, like, probably two or three, I'd say, something like that, probably somewhere in there. And uh, she was having a fussy night, and finally she fell asleep, and I I'd kind of snuck my before before I came in there to kind of help her out, I snuck my switch in the room, and so I laid her down. I laid down, and she had one of the like the little kid beds, you know. So it's like it's it was like the crib, except the the side comes off, so it's kind of like a toddler bed at that point. So I laid down. Not big enough to fit a, a, a human yeah. male. <laughs> yeah, I'm not, I'm not fitting in there. So like I laid down next to the bed just to see if she would wake up. The light was bright. I put the quilt over my head so that it wouldn't. <laughs> And I turned, I turned it on, and I was, I just started playing, and like all of a sudden, I'm just like going, and my phone starts buzzing, and I'm like, "Who's calling me at like three in the morning?" And I look at it, and I'm like, "Oh shit, it's six <laughs> thirty. I'm like, <laughs> "That's Holy my alarm." Holy crap! Like I could not believe it. I was like, "I am screwed today." <laughs> like, <laughs> I had meetings. I'm like, "I am toast." <laughs> I need Ivy. I need I need coffee, please. I need yeah. coffee, and I need it yeah. into me by an intravenous drip. <laughs> yeah, I was like, I really did. I was like, who's calling? I was like, at best, it's got to be like four. You know, no, no, it is six thirty in the morning. That's my alarm going off. Oh man, it was a toasty so, day. Yeah, I, that's my worry about going back to those games because I am an absolute sucker for Metroidvania games and the art style, the story, the music. Everything about those games just was absolutely gold. Uh, you know, I can't believe they're not making a third one like that. So I know it's hard. You know, we say that, but like we gotta wait for whatever Moon Studios this thing that they're super excited for. Maybe we'll be like, oh, that's why you did it. Okay, we get it. We get it. Thank you, Moon Studios, for being amazing. So, gotta wait for that to come out before we know for sure. But yeah. But that's cool that she's getting to enjoy it, and it's awesome that you get to be there and like watch her enjoy yeah. it. So, and then and then that's it. I mean, I'm my current obsession at the moment is Duolingo. Um, so I ain't even playing any mobile games. If, when I get 10, 15 minutes to play a mobile game, I'm kind of like, oh, I'm going to learn some German. So that's kind of now become my new mm-hmm. distraction. That's cool. I like it. Man, I like a lot. Yeah, I haven't been playing time. Um, I don't. I don't have a 
ton of time to play. For some reason, I told Sean, I've been I've been tired at night. Like I just, normally, like the wife goes to bed and I play for a couple hours, but I've been like, okay, well, I'm going to bed too. Or I'll try to play, and then I'll have to like find the last valid save because I will like wake up and it will have been like a week in Sandrock, and my guy's like. And he's in the hospital usually, you know, because he like fainted. <laughs> and I'm like, okay, well, that's not going to work. I'm going to have to find the next save. Um, so, yeah, I, I don't know. But I've been chipping away at Sandrock. I'm not going to lie. I'm getting a little, I've got to this point now in it where it's like, they're not giving me, they're not feeding me main missions fast enough. Where it's like, now I'm just at this point, it seems like they're trying to drag the game out, almost. Where it's like, well, now you planted that, now you gotta wait a week. And it's like, uh, okay, well that's not what I want to do. A week in Sandrock, it's usually like five or six days. But that's like three hours of gameplay. That's like 30 minutes. Unless I wanted to sleep. I could do that. I could sleep and sleep and sleep. But like, it's a, a day is a, around... 30 minutes it's probably 24 minutes i think i think an hour is 20 uh, i think an hour is one minute if i'm if i'm correct so it's like um yeah i don't know it's just a, it's uh, i'm kind of like okay let's go i mean let's just let's let's get to i've been playing this game for a while so i'll be ready to probably hop off when when core keeper comes out and all so i can play that and see what that's about um but right now well, that i'm just there that's quite a positive thing to say about it though like you you have put three i'd say three days real time mm-hmm. into my time zone, which is quite a lot yeah 72 hours is, is is a lot of time to put into a game yeah. um it's not quite animal crossing time that we put we put in but you know it's not an it's not quite game, an animal that... crossing world no that's the other thing <laughs> <laughs> yeah. like real and like real world while animal crossing was out um so yeah but uh i i've been playing uh, i've had fun watching my kiddos play uh splatoon don't know how that happened, but all of a sudden they got into Splatoon together, and they they're loving it. Uh, they they play on their switches and chat back and forth, and um, uh, just, just yeah. a game I never got into. Splatoon. Yeah, I know. You know, I I like it, and then I kind of fall out of it. Oh, Tim brings up Steam Steam World Heist Two. You know, so I don't think I ever played Steam World Heist, Tim. I played Steam World Dig, and I loved that game. I beat that one. But I don't. I don't know that I played Steam World Heist. Is that is that is that actually is that uh, turn is that the turn based one? Uh, I'm gonna pass on that one. <laughs> pass like I'm not. Uh, I'm yeah, not yeah. That's why I haven't played. It. Yeah, it's a turn based one. Yeah, nah. I'm I'm, pro- I'm probably out on the Steam World Heist. Um, so I knew. I thought that was why I was like, nah. I'm just gonna pass on it. But see, uh, turn based. It all depends because like I can quite happily play. Mario Rabbids, yeah, because mm-hmm. like, that's just, it's just a strategic turn base. But if it's like Final Fantasy style turn base, I struggle quite massively with that. Mm-hmm. It's probably why I haven't played the new Mario RPG because of the it's closer to Final Fantasy style turn base. Uh, Tim says it's strategery. I mean, I did get into Advanced Wars. I played the living junk out of that game. Uh, out of that, out of those games, the um, so that you know, I, but I, I don't really know why that was so. I enjoyed that so much. I think Noah helped me with that, like ha- made me have more fun with that because he was like right there, and he'd be like, "Use the sub, Dad. Use the sub. Don't move that, Dad. Don't move that. There's the bomber over there." So it was it was fun to. He was like my second set of eyes. Um, so I don't know, but uh so they're playing splatoon i'm still playing Sandrock, and together uh we play overcooked so all three of us uh overcooked and <laughs> boomerang foo which man if you guys don't know what boomerang foo is i don't know if it's out on xbox i don't know if that's a xbox if it or if it's switch only we have it on the switch gosh that game just that every time i'm like i'm probably done with this then the kids are like dad there's a hide and seek mode now super fun so we play the hide and seek mode too of that um, so search that up. It's it's a really fun top down uh, local couch co op y game. Uh, uh, I'm super excited for the new Mario Party game when that comes. Obviously yeah. Zelda. I think that's my next Zelda is probably my next game to be playing. So uh, the Xbox might take a bit of a backseat while I I kind of finish that off. But in history. Um, it usually takes me about a week to finish a Zelda game, so mm-hmm. it won't be for long. Yep i i am I am very excited. I 
I'm kind of thinking I might show uh, uh, Breath of the Wild. Not Breath of the Wild. Um, what's the Link's Awakening? Yeah. No, 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 no. No, he's already played that. I don't think he ever beat it, but he played it. No, I played that. What's the other Breath of the Wild game? Not Breath of the Wild. Tears of the Kingdom. Tears of the Kingdom. I think I might show Noah Tears of the Kingdom um, and see if he would be interested in playing that with me. So, but we'll we'll see. So that got yeah, nixed I, I, with the wife. I kind of guided Emily to um, Link's Awakening just mm-hmm. so then she could see the, the, the style of gameplay for the new Zelda game. And then I showed her the trailer for the new Zelda game. And she was like, oh, I get to be Princess Zelda. And, and I was like, yeah. yeah, yeah, I'm excited for this too. So. Okay, I know this is not like a Nintendo podcast, but shouldn't it be called The Link Game? I mean, you play as Princess Zelda. When you well, play Zelda, the it's, Link. When it's Zelda when you play as Link. It should be the Link game when you play as Zelda. I don't know. I'm just saying. Just, just a thought. Yeah. Something I've been I, I don't know. I like the spin that they've given on this. So mm, I do too. I'm just kidding. All right. That's all I got. We're going into Game Pass headlines. Yeah. Let's talk about the games that came out this week and what's coming out next week. That's right, it's the Game Pass headlines. There is a one game that came out this week, and it is Atlas Fallen. Uh, and I have stuff on it, and I'm about to read that stuff in <laughs> just a second, and it's out everywhere, uh, but only on Xbox Series X and S. Came out August 22nd. That's the day, by the way, guys. So, I mean, if you're watching, if you're listening, it's probably not. Uh, Unleash the storm in this open-world action RPG adventure enriched by the recently released major free update Reign of Sand. Enjoy new voice acting, a reworked campaign, and face even more formidable creatures armed with new essence stones. Challenge the gods with the long-awaited New Game Plus mode. Difficulty. New Game Plus difficulty mode. I got there. So, um, yeah, I that was that's exciting. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I, I haven't got to play yeah. it at all. It does sound pretty cool, but I'm probably not going to get to it. No, you're probably going to get to this next one, which is what I'm going to talk about, which is coming out next week. This is Car Keeper. Nick's mentioned it two or three times so far this podcast, so that's how you know he's excited <laughs> for it, because it's been mentioned more than once. Uh, this is coming out of Cloud, PC, and Xbox Series X and S only. It's going to come out August 27th. Um, and as I have read this blurb before I'm now going to read it, I was like, I'm also interested in this game. So, hmm. Dive into Carkeeper, an underground adventure where you shape your journey, craft, build, and explore in a dynamic world. Develop your character, uncover ancient secrets, and engage in the thrilling co-op, which is the bit that got me excited, or competitive play. Embrace the challenge and unearth the mysteries that await. My thoughts on this are that if I can take my, because I am going to take a controller and my iPad, if I can have a play at this and get a grasp of the idea of the game while I'm on holiday, if I get time and internet, um, that I might suggest that we kind of set up a time to chill and play this together as co-op and see how fun that is. So we can talk about it. I like it. I like that idea, sir. Yeah, that that would be fun. Um, yeah, I am. I am super excited uh, for this game. It the when I read the the little blurb, I was like, "This could be right up my alley." So we'll see. Yeah, never know. And it's it's perfect that it's fallen at a point where your time at Sandrock, yeah, is kind of slowly dwindling its way because it's it's becoming one a, a, a bit too much of a grind mm-hmm. to play yeah. by the sounds of things. So. Did you see down in DLC that there's Vampire Survivors new? Uh, there's a new DLC for Vampire Survivors. I don't know. I did not. I don't know how I many people are still this. in that. But uh, with this update, Vampire Survivors are getting dark canas, like Arcanas, but dark. Literally, I didn't make this up. That's literally how it reads. There's five yep. to unlock, and just like Arcanas, though these modifiers can change the outcome of your run significantly. This update also includes Room One Six Six Five a new stage made of 16 rooms that will challenge players to fight their way through all the floors of this devilish room. Huh. I just think it's interesting. That game that game had like its hot like moment that kind of broke out of just the like like gamer sphere and and got into the wild a little bit where you were reading about it in like, you know, 
business insider and stuff like that so yeah it did the, it hit mobile as well and did well there so yeah yeah so good on yep. them um and then i just want to t- touch on this because there isn't really many other games to talk about nope. uh but star trucker is coming on september 3rd which i know is a bit a little bit longer than a week away but i'm not going to be here next week to talk about it and i'm actually excited to play this so yeah, it does. Uh, this is available day one on Game Pass. It's come to cloud console and PC. But you get to hop into the driver's seat of a rocket-powered big rig and haul your cargo, scavenge for salvage, and interact with electric, uh, an elec- e- e- electric cast of star-hopping truckers in this American-infused journey of ultimate open road and space. Yeah, I think so. it sounds cool. Yeah, I think there was a film one's called Space Truckers which I found absolutely hilarious as a kid. I probably shouldn't have watched it as a kid, given the, the content of it, but I found it hilarious. And, and just like the video of this just totally reminded me of that movie. And I was like, I want to play this. I want to play this and see if it hits that, like brings back the memories of the film that I watched. So, yeah. Yeah. And so, uh, but if you're Game Pass Core and you're like, what do I have going on? Which, wait. Why is their Game Pass core stuff still coming out? So they're still they're still giving stuff to it, even though you can't buy it anymore. Um, no, you can get Game Pass car. It was console you couldn't. You now can't oh, get. Yeah. console got changed to standard. So. No, left me. I can't keep up. All right. So, anyways, my bad. I had a moment. Um, so you have City Skylines, uh, and Control Ultimate Edition. And SnowRunner, which is uh, Sean's favorite game, uh, coming out uh, on Game Pass Core. Um, I take that back. I, if I remember correctly, Sean, you you rage quit SnowRunner. Is that is that correct? Is I that did, right? yeah. yeah okay. um, City Skylines, great game to have on car. Yeah. Control Ultimate Edition, that is a very fun game to play. Um, and SnowRunner, yes, it made me rage quit. But if you have this absolute desire to drive, play a, a logistics style game where you have to plan travel drive trucks and stuff like that through really horrific snowy mountains and you have to plan how the drive's going to go for like what tires and gear you need to take then yeah this game's for you wasn't for me <laughs> if it you was very slow life and difficult and would like to still play games this game is for you no i'm just kidding it's not like that at all <laughs> it's just funny <laughs> uh, my brother my brother who it's completely chalk and cheese to me. Absolutely adores this game because he uses his, he's got a feedback steering wheel and stuff like that. And he gets sat in his chair and he just like, he'll dr- happily play this game as a driving sim or a trucking sim, just like ice road trucker style. He loves it. So he's like, yeah. he's like got jerky while he's doing it. He's got the whole experience. <laughs> just like a trucker. You know, he puts on a hat, you know, a trucker hat. And he's like, <laughs> Probably wears a hat. I don't know. He might kill me if he ever listens to this. But yeah, he probably wear a trucker cap. <laughs> Not sure about the jerky. Um, he's 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 diabetic, but he's pretty good at managing it with diet. But he probably has some kind of snack because you know yeah. that's just the kind of guy mm-hmm. he is. I like it. All right, what's and the then we have on? we have an update on games leaving because the last set of games that were leaving was August. 16th. So August 31st, we have Atomic Heart, which is quite a sad game to see go. If you're a big fan of things like Bioshock um, and Deathloop, I think, that style of gameplay, um, then Atomic Heart's for you. Um, very good game to play. Guilty Gear Strive, I have no idea what that game was like, but that's leaving. And NBA 2K24, they are the three games that are leaving this August 13th. 31st, not 13th. See you later. See you later, guys. I <laughs> start saying it there too. <laughs> yeah. So, but as always, if you if you want to get hold of Atomic Hat and purchase it and you know play it, see if you like it, you have the option to purchase it at twenty percent discount with your Game Pass sub. Same with Go Gear Drive and NBA Two K Twenty Four. All those games will still have your twenty percent discount as a Game Pass subscriber up until August thirty first. I like it. Hey, this is uh I'm just I'm just throwing this I'm just throwing this out at you um because we're cl- we're pretty much to the end here and there are no questions. Um so I have a question for you Sean. I was thinking the other day um and it, we're going to get farther and farther away from the Olympics so it's not going to be uh worthwhile anymore. Um do you think esports 
I was reading something. How I got here is I was reading something about breakdancing and how it won't be in Los Angeles in four years. <laughs> how, but, why am I not surprised? But uh, but flag football will, along with cricket and lacrosse, which, to be honest, I can't believe cricket and lacrosse aren't already Olympic sports, but whatever. Um, but flag football, I think it's funny. And I thought, is there ever a day when it's going to go to, like, some place? Like, couldn't you see it going to Tokyo and Tokyo being like, Esports. We're doing e- we're doing esports in the Olympics because apparently they have some I, choice. You ever think that happened? I think I think esports should be. Yeah, I think it's it's given how big it has gotten and the following it has now gotten. I think it needs to be understood that there is people at a level in esports which is just absolutely bonkers, like. There is there is players out there that play the games that are included in esports like Call of Duty, um, Fortnite, plus the racing games and things like FIFA and sporting games that are just playing at a level that is beyond a normal gamer. They are like mm-hmm. they are the masters of that craft, and if that's it, and that's what the Olympics are for me. The Olympics are yeah. a a masterclass of people who have spent time and effort learning and crafting and you know shaping themselves to be a person that can do this the best of the best so yeah yeah i could i could see it 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 would it would take a lot and there would be a lot of people that are like what oh my gosh a lot of like mainstream like don't know anything about esports barely know what a video game is right so there'd be a lot but i mean it was the same thing with with breakdancing too and it was like uh i'm sorry wait what breakdance which by the way i watched breakdancing i thought it was a lot of fun i thought it was cool yeah i i can't believe that flatland bmx isn't an olympic sport the x games that's currently ongoing at the moment i watched a lot of the flatland in bmx in and those guys are amazing i have like i at one point i was in absolute awe at how fast this guy was spinning and he was standing on the front wheel of a bmx with one foot not holding on to the bike with his hands and the bike was upside down and he's standing on the front wheel. I was like, so, <laughs> so what is the, what, what are they doing here? I mean, they're upside down on a bike, but I like, like, are they, are they I, racing? Are they trying to do stuff? No, no. Like, this, what are they so, so if you, if you imagine like, um, a square gymnastics mat where they do the freestyle gymnastics, okay, uh-huh. um, and they're on a BMX and they set off and they, they're, they're on the pedals and they get like, I think they get a minute each or a minute and a half each. As soon as their feet come off the pedals and onto the pegs, of the front or the rear or onto the handlebars. So as long as their feet out on the pegs sure. and then like, they'll be just riding around in a circle and they're like, they'll stand on the front pegs and bring the back wheel up and they'll hold onto the back wheel with their hands. And then they spin it round. So like the seats, the opposite way around and the bike's okay. upside down, but they're still rolling around. Mm-hmm. But then like they'll pirouette and they'll jump and they'll spin like, and they'll spin the bike and the opposite. It's just apps. Abs- I'll send you some videos. Okay. Like, so it's but- basically tricks without like any kind of ramping or anything like that. It has to all be flat yeah. land. I get it. Okay. All right, cool. Yeah. So it's like free it's like freestyle gymnastics mm-hmm. put on a BMX. Okay. That's cool. Yeah. <laughs> That's the best I, I can describe it. Because I enjoyed we always get Peacock always gets us for a month, which by the way, I gotta cancel that. Um uh because we like to watch we don't want to just watch the nightly like I call it the like smattering of of like what what I guess they think Americans would be interested in. Like that's the only stuff you get if you watch that. But if you if you do the peacock thing, then you can pick and choose the sports that you don't see a lot. Like my wife actually got really into rhythmic gymnastics, which that stuff is crazy. Like it's just these girls throwing throwing this ball and hoop and ribbon in the air blindly, and then somehow somebody like it it looks like thirty feet on the other side of the mat just catches it. I don't even know. I don't even know how it's possible. No, no idea. But um, but it's it's really cool. Um, but I watch, we watch the other BMX, like where, where they're like racing around a circle and there's like hills and, um, that was, that was very interesting. So I don't know if that's, was called BMX or not. I can't remember, but whatever that was called. So anyways, that was my question for you. I agree. I think esports could use to be in the, uh, in the Olympics at some point. And I wouldn't be surprised if somewhere in the next oh you gotta wonder is it a winter or a summer sport a winter or a summer sport what's that esports um i you could i'd put it in the winter because then you'd be inside it's one to that's fair that's fair yeah yeah mm-hmm. okay anyways oh. there you go <laughs> um very quick question for you because this is um 
like brings me into the next part of, of what's coming and what's happening next is what's the show going to look like next week? I don't know. You just have to tune in and find out. I have no <laughs> idea. It could just be me and I could be sitting here eating pizza and being like, well, today what happened was, I don't know. I have no idea. I, I, I wish I was joking, but I don't. So we'll come up when with the, something. When does Star Wars Outlaws come out? Oh, that's a good question. Man, you know, I haven't streamed a game in a thousand years. That's an accurate number. <laughs> Probably not. But I mean, yeah, I don't, I don't, it comes out on the 27th, right? I'm pretty sure. Now you're going to make me look it up, Sean. I'm, I'm doing it now. Oh, I'm well, doing it right doing. now. I'm pretty sure it's 27th because I thought it was the exact day as Core Keeper. <clears throat> 30, 30, 30. I mean, we might have to talk to a friend of ours, see if he's available. Because that why would that would be an awesome person to have on and talk oh. about the game release if he could. When is it? When is it coming out? Thirtieth of August. The thirtieth of August. Oh hell, we need to do that. Let's do that. But I mean, that's yeah. not next week. You know, we'll do that the week after. So you can. You will you be there that week? Um, the second through the I'll sixth. Be, yeah, second through to. Just hang out, guys. Sixth, We're having yeah. a whole meeting here. It's great fun. Don't worry, you're doing great. Keep it up. I just, I just want people to know. What, so, so next week is probably going to be chilling with just Nick. Uh-huh. Or, well, he eats pizza and plays games, mm-hmm. which you know that sounds yeah. pretty awesome. I'll tune in if I can. <laughs> um, and then hopefully the week after that, we will try and hit out our boy Bruce. Yeah, see if he like wants it. to join us. He can. Let's do that. Talk to us about Outlaws, his thoughts on it, and and he'll probably have a, a better spin on it being a Star Wars mm-hmm. fan than we will. I'll be like, well, listen, it was fun with that lightsabery thing, dealio, and I got to shoot yeah. that laser gun. That was a phaser oh. thing. Was fun. There's be me. Yeah, and, and he'll push his his podcast, and will But it's nice to have him on because I, I I love Bruce. He's a nice guy. He is a nice guy. All right, Sean, yeah, take nice. us out. Yeah, that wraps up this week's episode of Game Pass Tracker Show. Don't forget you can follow us on X individually. I am Sean Double Scar and my good friend. I can never remember which side you're on to me, but the, the guy that's sat next to me right now, this awesome guy, Nick, is at Nick Tendo, which is 10DOH. And our main channel, where everything happens, you get all the news, the drops, all the stuff, the surprises, everything like that, is GPT Gaming News. If you have any questions, any suggestions, or you just want to share your thoughts and feelings in high school, otherwise, you can do. You can send us an email at show at gamepasstracker.com. Just want to say a massive thank you for all of you people that have watched. A massive thank you to Smasher that has joined in on the chat on X and to Tim that also joined in on the chat. Uh, thank you very much. Keep gaming, keep tracking, and until next time, we shall see you later. See you.